So today we'll be doing on static routing. I have already in uh, installed all the configured all the IP addresses on the different interfaces on the workstation. And these are the different network address. Here it's a uh, slash 24, meaning 255.255.255.0, as subnet mask is being used in this network. Here it's 255.255.255.252, because it's a slash 30, as subnet mask in this network. And here in this network, it's a, again, it's 255.255.255.0 because this is a slash 24. Before we're going to install the roots, we have to understand a few things. So we'll start first by showing you the different IP addresses that has been configured. Let's see here on this PC, you have the IP address is 172.16.20.10, the subnet mask I've said, 172.16.20.1. This becomes the gateway. Now, on this PC, when I have configured gateway, this means here, this is the gateway. So, to move out of this network, whether it's this PC or PC1 or the switch, we all have to pass through this gateway. So this gateway, the IP address is 172.16.21. You can see on gigabit 00, the link is up. And the IP address, uh, it's configured, is 172.16.21. Whereas on the serial interface, it's 10.0.0.1. So here it's 10.0.0.1.1 here. And here it's 10.0.0.2. And on this router here, it's the gigabit has been configured with 192.168.10.1. So this is 10.1. Uh, then on this PC as well. It's the gateway 10.1. So we have to ensure that on our workstation, the gateway has been configured. So this is the first thing. Second thing, before we do static routing, we have to be able to identify our remote networks. So our remote networks are, so this is, for this network, for this router, these two networks are directly connected networks. For this router, this and this is directly connected. Why? Because these networks are connected on its interface. This router has got an interface here, so this network is connecting, connected to it. So that's why it becomes a directly connected network. Here as well, we have a connection here on this router. So for this reason, this network becomes directly connected network. Now, when we have directly connected network in our routing table, we will see a letter C. Letter C indicates directly connected networks. So, how are we going to display the routing table? So, we are going to come on the router. CLI we're going to do mm, 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 it's on the privilege exec mode show IP route that's the command that we're going to use to display the routing table show IP route so what do you see here C C is here. As I said, C is the directly connected network. So we are on router zero here. And this router has got 
this network and it has this network. 172.16.20.0 and when it has 10.0.0.0. That's why 10.0.0 here is a directly connected network and here we have a C20.0. So the same applies here if we want to see the directly connected network. On router 1 now, again we have here we have 192, 168.10. So we do show IP root. And we get here 192, 168.10, and then 10.0.0 as we directly connected network. Now, so here it's 172.16.20.1. Prior to the installation of routes, prior to static routing, we will be able to connect only to those devices in the same network. We will not be able to access remote network. So since this is this router, this network, this PC should be able to ping here. So because this PC to go out here, to come here, it has to go through the gateway, pass through this gateway. So this is directly, this for this router, this becomes a remote network. Why it's a remote network? Because to reach here, it has to access this router. So since it has to jump a router to reach a network, that network becomes a remote network. The same applies for router 1. Router 1, this is connected to it, so it's directly connected network. Remote network, it has to jump router 0 to reach here. So that's why this becomes a remote network. Good. Now, how do we connect a remote network? We have this. First, we have to check whether our connection is right. So I'm going to use this. I'll do this and this. We have to check whether it is successful. It is successful. PC0 and router 0 is connected. Router 0 should be able to connect to router 1. Here it is, successful. This PC2 should be able to connect to this. Good, it's successful. So it's okay, all the networks are connecting. I'm just going to check for PC3 here. And this one, PC3 and router 1 can also connect this and this. So this means all the LANs have been rightly configured, so they are able to connect. But if we are going to, because this is remote to this network, if I try to connect PC0 with PC2, it will give me failed because we haven't configured static routing yet. So we have to configure static routing first. To configure static routing, we'll come and config. Configure terminal. Now here we have, we have only this as remote network. So IP root, network address is this, 10.0.255.255.255.0. Then the exit interface. Now, we are on this router. To reach this network, this becomes the exit interface. Because we have to pass through this to enter this router. To pass through this router. This is the door, the gateway to this for this router to come to this network. So the exit interface now, it's here on serial 00, it's 
This is the static routing. Got to be good. Now on this one. Now we are on router one. For router one, this is the remote network. So IP root is when we are configuring static routing. The command we have to use is IP root. The address would be 172.16.20.0. Two five five two five five two five five zero. Then the exit interface here becomes ten zero zero. So we are on router one. This becomes our exit interface to enter here. We have to come through this router. So this is on this side, and this side of this router will become the exit interface. So ten zero one. Now let's see. I always like to save my configurations. successful now pc0 will, is able to ping pc2 so this means our routes have been configured correctly so this is how we do static routing how we install the routes in our so even pc1 now will be able to connect with pc3 sorry ping, ping pc1 and pc3 this also will be successful so that, that's it. Thank you.